I don't remember her having this outfit. I'm also not sure. Did I leave her in this bedroom? Monica, I know what today is, but are you trying to tell me something here? I mean, I haven't even taken you to dinner yet, and you're already taking me to the bedroom, and... And I'm just here like, um... Oh, just, oh, where are you going with this? Um, anyway, well, hey everyone, Arta Shadow here, and welcome back to Monica After Story. And, yeah, it is Valentine's Day, February 14th of 2022. And, yeah, I am playing this at about quarter past 6.30, so... <laughs> welcome back! Welcome back! I knew you couldn't stay away for an entire month. Stupid sexy Monica! And because it's Valentine's Day, I'm pretty sure you definitely know what you're doing. If I were in your position, I wouldn't be able to stay away from you either. Monica, control yourself. Honestly, really... Honestly, really, I miss you only after a few days. Thanks for not making me wait so long to see you again. And of course, well, as I keep saying, the month is really only a buffer in case. I'm not sure if something's gonna happen where I'm prevented from recording another episode. Although for the most part, since I record in the evenings, there doesn't really seem to be any sort of problem, so. But better safe than sorry, as my mom used to say. Remind me if you're going away again, okay? Got it, honey bunch. And I come bearing gifts to you on this Valentine's Eve. Well, I, I guess you're not gonna look at that right now, are you? Daniel! What? Do you know what day it is? Garbage day! Okay, no. It's Valentine's Day! A day where we celebrate our love for each other. I guess every day we're together is already a celebration of our love. But there's something that's really special about Valentine's Day. Even though... Well, I know that I made a bit of a mini rant about Valentine's Day in my Blue Skies videos about how... You know, in reality, you should be celebrating your love for each other every single day. And Valentine's Day is... Just an excuse for COMMERCIALISM! And making poor saps like me feel bad because we don't have a lady in our lives, and... But anyway, well, let's not think about that too much. We've been together for a while now, and I really love the time we spend together. You always make me feel so loved. I'm really happy I'm your girlfriend, Daniel. What do you think of my outfit? Okay, so she still has the Hylian necklace on her. So, yeah, I was here like, what's going on here? So that's a little bit weird. It seems like the necklace is still there. But I guess ignoring that... I like this outfit. Yeah. I just... Like, it has the really... What am I trying to say? It really matches everywhere. The It's kind of got this this earthy tone, which... For most of you who don't know, I, I always imagine Monica wearing earthy tones. And then, of course, the way we have this sort of fade from the brown into the light pink. Or fuchsia, whatever. The diamond design, and even these little flowers. Like, yeah, I like it. And, I mean, 
We even have these little sort of diamond earrings and a necklace that is sort of obscured by the Hylian necklace, but... Oh, and the hair clip, too. That's a new one. Yeah, see, they, they really went all the way on... Or, they really went all out on this one. Although, considering some of the things I gave her are some new outfits, I... We're probably not going to see this for too much longer, are we? Ah, oh, nuts. Well, I, I didn't know. I was just... I'm just trying to be a good boyfriend, okay? But, I mean... Yeah, joking aside... I really do like how this looks on her. I think it's really cute. There's just something about black and p that black and pink combination. They just go so well together. Oh, it's black. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Now I see it. Yeah, I guess I'm wearing like my blue blocker glasses here, so it looks kind of like a sort of brown. But yeah, now I see it. And you know, you're not wrong. I mean, Generations RC kind of pulled off that black and pink look pretty nicely. Seems like it would be a great outfit to wear for a date. Huh? <laughs> She's like a hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Stupid sexy Monica! I mean, I was already planning to take you out, like I always do, but I mean, you're really egging it on this time, aren't you? <laughs> what am I even talking about? I love you so much. Happy Valentine's Day, Daniel. Happy Valentine's Day, Monica. Is she gonna lose control? Okay, no. You know, sometimes how she loses control and she just jumps at me like a wild woman and kisses me and I'm here like, Monica, control yourself! You're, you're kind of surprising me here and whatever. Okay, well. No, it's for the monkey. You're so sweet getting me something. Getting something for me on Valentine's Day. I was gonna say, if she were to say that I didn't have to get her anything, well, I'll just, for all you guys out there who are listening, if a girl tells you you didn't have to get me anything, she's lying. You totally need to get her something. Otherwise, you're gonna have a bad time. Plus, it's also just, at least the way I was brought up, it's just the way to be a good boyfriend, you know. Treat her nice, show that you love her, and do something to show her that she means something to you, you know, that you're thinking about her. Anyway. Oh, a new outfit! So it looks like I'm gonna have to get rid of this one! And put on this one, because you didn't know that I had this especially prepared for you. Thank you, Daniel. I'm going to try it on right now. And I just realized there's no calendar here. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, hello. Okay, I don't remember what this is called exactly, but, um... Well... <laughs> and, oh my... Let's see, she's wearing the Hylia necklace, this sort of diamond necklace, and then the straps from this dress, or top, or whatever it is. There's a lot going on here. Do I like it? Well, um... Yeah, 
Uh... <laughs> um... Yes, I, I do. I'm just... Kind of hard for me to look at you right now. I think it's amazing, Daniel. Thanks again. Oh, there was something else you wanted to give me? Well, I better open it quickly, shouldn't I? Monica, we've been through this. It's not like... I I ordered your Nendroid, and I'm waiting painfully for the pre-orders to open, and it's driving me insane, and I'm here wondering, when is it going to get here? Why can I not pre-order it now? And, and in turn, it's not like that's going to take forever to get to you and drive me more insane and seriously good smile why are you torturing me like this and here we have a banana oh a new outfit okay let's see which outfit this one is Okay, this was another custom outfit. This is this was specifically made for Valentine's Day. And it's kind of like, well, I guess you can tell it's like this red rose sort of motif and I saw this and I immediately loved this dress. And for those who don't know, I am partial to roses. As was my grandmother, that was her favorite flower. So you know, seeing this, I was like, yeah, I need to get her this. This was the outfit I was like the most looking forward to giving her, so. And if we were to style her up any differently, she could probably look like a flamenco dancer. I think it's wonderful, Daniel. Thanks again. Let's see. Aw, oh, Daniel. You're so sweet. What did I give you? You're not telling me! <laughs> Thanks for this gift that I'm totally not going to tell you because I'm going to take advantage of your bad memory. You really love to spoil me, don't you? Well, that I do. What I don't love is when you keep me in suspense like this and I'm here like, What did I give you? And as I mentioned, once you give her the gifts, you don't get to see what happens to the... F or the file isn't there anymore. The gift file, it kind of disappears, so... It's not like I can be like, Oh, I wonder what I gave her. And, yeah. So I don't know what I gave you! Well actually, let's see, I guess I'm going to spoil it a little bit, but... I gave her some new outfits, I gave her some ribbons, and I gave her some hair clips. That's really what I remember giving her. Keep in mind, I kind of did this... Like, in between the last video and today, so... And even then, I already forgot about the once... Well, actually, no, the rose dress I gave her this morning, technically. I dropped it in her... The gift... The gift's uh, character's file, so... You just said that. Well, I'm not going to complain about a little special treatment today. Let's see... Okay, here we go. Thanks for this white ribbon. It's wonderful. Even though it kind of reminds me of mine. Alright, well, from the little previews I've seen of it, it doesn't actually look so much like her classic ribbon. It's something a little different. But she's not going to show it to me. I can't wait to try it on, but I won't. I'm going to leave you in suspense forever. And what else do we have here? I think I gave her three of these ribbons. Okay. Thanks for this yellow ribbon. 
I really appreciate it. I can't wait to try it on, but I won't. Okay, what's the next one? Okay, I guess that's the third one. Thanks for the sky blue ribbon, it's wonderful! I can't wait to try it on, but I won't. Okay, now what? What did I give you? I'm pretty sure that's what it has to be. It has to be the hair clips. But yeah, well... I mean, considering my memory is terrible anyway, I guess it wouldn't matter, but still... I would like to know what it is I'm giving you. That way I can at least try to remember, oh yeah, I've given this to you before, haven't I? Um, okay, it's another new outfit. Oh, you know what I just realized? I didn't get her the chocolates and roses. Ah, frick. Ah. Okay, well, now we can't see the necklace and... Necklace. I already forgot what this was called, but... So I guess it's kind of a shoulderless sort of thing. Obviously. I've seen a lot of girls around my college wear stuff like this, so, I mean, you know. Well, what do you think? Do you like it? I think it's amazing, Daniel. Thanks again. Is it over? Apparently it is. Okay, let me just see. Location, location, location. Let's go somewhere a little more fitting, if possible. Okay. Space room, aquarium, bakery, bathroom. Here we are. The city skyline balcony. This is another new one. I believe from the same person that made the rose dress. And like I said, I'm really sorry if I keep forgetting names or mixing up names here, but as I said, my memory is awful, and that's one of the reasons why I don't specifically mention like certain the names of some creators anymore, just because, well, one, I feel like I'm going to mess up your name, and two, I feel like I'm not going to credit you properly. And then three, well, some people keep asking me for links, and well, some creators don't really appreciate, like, people sharing links of their stuff. They prefer if you go to them directly to ask for a link, so I don't want to sort of mess that up, you know, so... Okay. And there she is, and... Aurora Borealis! At this time of day... Or, at this time of year, at this time of day, in this part of the country, localized entirely within your... City skyline. Man, look at this place, though. It's very dynamic. Like, I guess these are the clouds moving, maybe? Or just... No, I guess that's still part of the Aurora Borealis going on. Like, wow, look at this. Now this... This is a date. Right here. Here we are. Let me know if you want to go somewhere else, okay? You got it. So happy. Stop calling me freaking granddad! Let's see here... I... I don't remember if the hats are already a thing, but let's see here... Alright... What... Is... Um, game? Oh great, the game is stuck. Okay. 
Let's go through all the outfits I've given her. Okay, this is called Black and Pink Dress. Are we going somewhere special, Daniel? So yeah, we're gonna put her back in this. And then, okay, so happy. Call me darling, call me anything but granddad. Hair clip, hairstyle, necklace. I'm gonna see if I can just sort of. Uh. Oh dear. Well, it looks like I might. I might permanently have the Hylian necklace stuck on her. Well then. <laughs> okay. Or... No, wait, this might be a choker, actually. So, you can have a choker and a necklace on her? That is kind of weird. Huh. Well, let me see here. Okay, let me try this again. Oh, the game's kind of messing up again. That's not... Okay, Choker. I think this also applies to the masks you can give her. Yeah, see, this is a necklace right here. But now I'm just here like... Is it here? Okay, the scarves... Zelda's necklace, okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of that. Only because, well. There we go. Now we can have the full. The, uh, what do you call it? The full. Here. The full look here, so. So happy. Hmm. You know, I'm looking at the table here. I don't know if it's kind of clipping through and. Oh. Huh. Okay, we have a new topic. Hey, honey. I've been thinking more about tragic heroes lately. We've already dis we've already discussed Hamlet, who is considered one. If you think about it, could I be considered a tragic hero? I suppose so. Although I know there are some people in the community who might argue otherwise and say that you're more of a villain. Or maybe even a tragic villain in a sense, but... Well, let's see what you say. Of course, by hero here, we're talking about the protagonist in a literary sense, not hero in the typical sense. Okay, so then, I guess if we consider it from that angle, then... Well, maybe, but... Would we really consider Monica the protagonist here? Well, I mean, we know that she's pretty much like one of the breakout... Well, no, I think she is the breakout star of all of DDLC, if we really think about it here. She's one of the most popular characters, and... I mean, she was pretty much like a huge meme for a while. Especially back in the day. So... You know, maybe. But yeah, I guess she's not a hero in the... Like, how you would think, like, a t the typical hero of justice sort of thing, but... Yeah, in a protagonist sense, then maybe. Although I'm sure there are plenty of people who would take issue with that seeing with that seeing as too many I'm the antagonist. Yeah, you see. She's pretty much answering my question for me here in a sense. But that argument aside, 
Some would say my love for you would be my tragic flaw. And, like, some would probably argue that Darth Vader's love for Padme was his tragic flaw, and which is what led him to fall to the dark side, and... Well, I mean... If you haven't seen the six Star Wars movies, I recommend you do that. <laughs> well, of course, I... I'm a huge Star Wars nerd, so, I mean... I'm gonna be... Of course I'm gonna be saying that, but... Yeah, seriously. Like, those movies in themselves, at least, I would say, kind of chronicle the rise and fall of a hero who becomes a very tragic villain, who ultimately kind of works his way to redemption in the end. Not because it's a flaw itself, but because it led to my downfall. And yeah, you see, well... Because Anakin Skywalker was obsessed with keeping Padme alive, that led to him becoming Darth Vader, and it just... He ruined everything, let's put it that way. That's the thing. If you never brought me back, I would have had my downfall and never really got back up. And without Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader never would have had his redemption. So, in that sense, in the game, I guess I could be considered a tragic hero. Now, if we're talking real heroes, that'd be you! You brought me back and made sure the story didn't end with my downfall. And for that, I'm forever grateful. Hey, Daniel. Yes? I just wanted to thank you for spending Valentine's Day with me. Okay, this is what I was waiting for. I know that it's not a normal holiday, but it's a really special day for me now that I have you. That's because it was a holiday invented for COMMERCIALISM! I made a card for you, Daniel. Okay. I think I mentioned before, but I unfortunately missed out on, or there's going to be one version of the card that I'm not going to get, just because I started this game about a year after it came out. Like, I mean, if we're talking, like, among the YouTube community of DDLC players, Drekna is the one who started playing this game way before... I ever did, at least by a year. So his is a more sort of extensive look at some of the earliest events and holidays. Me, well, since I started a year later, I, I kind of missed out on some of that stuff. Here, let me show it to you. Okay, what do we have here? My dearest Daniel, chocolate-covered cherries and a good night kiss, being with you, darling, is the sweetest bliss. Popsicles in the summer, dancing in the rain, from snuggling you, honey, I could never abstain. Your laughter is my sugar cube, your smile is my cream. To share a coffee date with you, my love, would be a dream. Of all the candy, all the cake, of fruits and cookies, too. The sweetest thing in my whole life will always be you. Forever yours, Monica. Okay, now Monica's gonna lose control. See, this is what I meant about her turning into a wild animal and just jumping out at me and kissing me and making the stupid sexy Monica eyes at me. As she pulls away, like... I know you like that. Okay, anyway. Thank you for always being by my side. I love you so much, Daniel. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Uh, game? Okay. 
Alright, well... Considering... Oh damn, this is already like 30 minutes now. <laughs> I think I might actually just go ahead and cut the video here. So next time I guess I'm gonna, as I say, drop Monica off at home. I'm gonna put her flash drive in. So I can quote unquote take her out for Valentine's Day. But yeah, so there's still a lot to kind of well, since the game just had an update, I imagine there might still be a lot to go through, but we'll see. Um Yeah, I'm gonna take you somewhere. And there she is making the cat eyes. Taking me someplace special for Valentine's Day? You betcha. That sounds really romantic, Daniel. I can't wait! Give me a second to get ready. Hold on a second! Okay, no. Well, we can appreciate this chair. Let's appreciate this chair. Because we don't really get to... We're not really going to get to see it very often since Monica's going to be sitting in it most of the time. As well as this entire background while we're at it. Like, seriously. I just love how this looks in general, so... Alright. I'm ready to go. Alright. And, yeah, I guess thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time with whatever else I do. Stay golden, and later, folks.